Um, you already highlighted this in your last, what are the reasons about the deliverables of, of why uh, uh, individuals um, no longer want to go to hospitals, but how has the pandemic changed your business? It's, you know, it's, it's such an odd, you know, I'm, I don't even know how to say this. I, I, am, I, hurt, I hurt for our country, I hurt for the world with all the suffering that people have had to endure with, with uh, COVID. A number of my kids have had it, my grandkids have had it. Um, no. Colleagues have had it, our chief medical officer has had it, our chief nursing officer has had it. Uh, so it hurts at a very, very deep level. So there's a part of me that feels like, how could I possibly celebrate a pandemic? But the pandemic has been a rocket ship for Medically Home. Before the pandemic, there was activity. It was measured. It was, it was cognitive. Since the pandemic, it's emotional. It's driving. It's, it's, it's a propellant. It's very, very hard to describe because I think it's not the pandemic, it's the lack of preparedness that we had across the board and the healthcare system appears to itself to have failed. It failed in testing. It failed, it failed in a proper understanding. It canceled all elective surgery in all hospitals. It crushed the P&L of, of hospital, crushed them. Because even though it was 30% of the volume, it was 70 plus percent of the profit of a hospital came from elective surgery. So they all went into a hole, some of them at 20 million a month, some of them at 75 million, 100 million a month. So, so it crushed them financially because we weren't prepared. And, 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 and then now the negative impact of patients afraid to go to the hospital. There's just so many things that disoriented the people that run what we call the health system, which is hospital centric. So I think, I think the pandemic was one of those, uh, you know, in the Hindu religion, the God, you know, the God Shiva, she's the destroyer. It destroyed the level of confidence in that institution, causing an openness for what's going to follow. And there's a lot of people who believe that's what's going on in politics as well, and in the media as well. It's just a, a feeling. I just came back from Sacramento, Oakland, Roseville, and Portland, Oregon. I had to evacuate my son from uh, Oregon University in Eugene, 750 parts per million of smoke. It was smoke in his house, the smoke turned on the smoke alarm in the house, the smoke from the outside, the smoke in my hotel room. And, and, and there it is, the streets are boarded up because of the disturbances that went on on the streets. They're all covered in graffiti. Streets are full of smoke. And, and the hospitals are struggling and afraid of the next, you know, the next wave of, of COVID coming. Well, it felt like we're in some dystopic dream, bad dream. But the impact I think it's having, Kyle, is it's a propellant for something that's going to change that's needed. We're a very, very bright country. We're incredibly creative. We can do almost anything. I believe we can do anything as a country. We just needed to tear down some of the things that aren't working anymore. And I think that's what COVID-19 did. It tore down our confidence in things that needed to be torn down anyway. But rather than a death of a 19, you know, death of a 19 cuts or a thousand cuts, it was a sledgehammer. Uh, and I think that's what's opened the door, not just for Medically Home, but for a lot of folks, a lot of companies. But the other thing I want to say, I want to say it really with a lot of energy. When I was a little boy, I heard that the first 747 was landing at JFK in New York. I lived in Brooklyn in New York at the time. And, and when I saw a picture of it on TV, it looked like a city. I didn't believe it could actually take off or land. So it, there was no security back then. So I took my bicycle, I cut out of school, which I shouldn't have done, but I did. And I drove my bike to the runway at JFK and I landed there in the grass. And as I watched American Airlines Flight 1 land and the 747 right above me. And level of patriotism I felt for our country, the same feeling I had when Neil Armstrong stepped on the moon. We're capable of anything but we've become so financially oriented in worrying about financial risk. We've so tried to mitigate out of our consciousness that only big things really matter. Only really big, hard things to do matter because doing the little incremental things doesn't really allow us to, to, to progress as, as a country and as a people. So I'm worried about everyone's fear of the complexity of this 
it's yes, it's everything. Everything awesome is complex. That's that's why it's awesome because in in a, in a current status quo, it's not awesome. It needs to be changed, which means you have to undo it or change it or disrupt it. So the capital and and the people that manage the capital and the people that review the management of the capital is no longer oriented for the really big you know shots outside the park. It's more incremental and and it's more you have to prove it through the windshield. But or the rear view mirror. This, 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 everyone asks me, like, what's the pro forma look like? This is 10 years ago. How do I know? I even know when we'll be able to do our first patient. How do I know what the pro forma looks like? I could lie to you. I could show you all the different admissions and our, our pricing, which I don't even know what that is either. The, the, the belief in people and in ideas and leaders to, to, to go after the really, really big problems to solve them is where capital, some part of our capital should go. It's not venture capital. And it's not traditional PE, which needs some historical, you know, some traditional historical financial results to be able to justify its investment. There's a gap in the capital market, I think, for big ideas. Uh, but anyway, we got there through all strategic investors. And in fact, our Series A, 127 individual physicians invested in Medicare. Home. It was like a Kickstarter campaign. Yeah. Whoa. And they're all very happy. They're all very happy now. They're all really happy now. Yeah. <laughs> so um, anyway, that's my commercial about doing big things and not being afraid of doing big things.